welcome, and here we go. Hi, I just thought I would record how to make the library check-in, check-out system, um, whether it's for objects and you're going to print the QR code and put them on there, or whether it's for hands-free checking in and out for COVID, or whatever you need it for. It's pretty easy to do, um, and you just need a Google form, Google Docs, and then I use a QR code generator. So here we go. First thing you're gonna do is create a Google form. So go to the Timbit box, I call it the Timbit box. Um, go to forms, and I mean, you can choose any of the forms you like. Um, you also have the ability to change it once you get in there. So I'm just gonna choose an exit ticket because it's easy. And um, we're gonna make this, let's say for um, COVID checking in and out. So maybe it's um, for school. So let's just put some books in here and make it a school version. Um, you would do the same thing for a library. You're just going to have more tickets. You're going to have um, a ticket for every QR code. So if you are doing this for a library, let's say you're doing it for 3D printers or electronics or whatever, you make one of these tickets for every printer and you name it. So up here, if you're doing it for a library, I would name it whatever it was, printer um, number one or you know, uh, white Ultimaker or whatever it is. And just so that you have a record when someone uses it or signs it out or whatever, then you know which one it is. Um, for checking in and out for COVID, it's relatively simple. So um, I'm gonna call this check in. Let's use a hyphen and be grammatically correct. Um, let's do check in and check out. So you could in here put like all hand, all safety protocols apply if you're doing it for COVID, like a uh, hand washing, all of those things have to be done every time you check out and come back in. So you can give whatever instructions you want, you can fill that up. So I leave the name in here as short answer so that you know who it is. Um, if you're doing it for students and they have a student number, you could do name and then, then the next one where I have email, it could be student number. Um, so it just depends on how you wanna track things. Uh, what I do here in email instead is I change it to check boxes and I say checking in or out. Option one, checking in, add another option, checking out. Same question, they choose either in or out. Um, we don't, and we want it to be required, so they have to fill it out. Same with name has to be required. And then the rest of these we don't need, so I'm just gonna delete them because this is a really simple form. There is my finished check in and out form. This is what they will see. Um, I mean, they won't see all of the administrative stuff, but they'll see what it looks like here. Let me pre preview it. This is what they're gonna see when they go to check in and out. So they're gonna put their name in, and they're gonna check in, or they're gonna check out, and that's it. Um, so the way that this works is you need a pre-filled link so that the QR code can go directly to this. You go to the three Timbits and get pre-filled link, okay? You need to copy this URL and then I find any, what, whichever QR code generator you like, a QR code generator, and there's a whole bunch of free ones. I mean, the reality is you can just use this snipping tool. I'm gonna to show you. This is one that you're supposed to make an account for, but if I just put in the QR code for what I checked, oh wait, did I copy that? I think I might have, that might be the old, other one. Let me just do this again. Okay, there's there it is, there's my QR code. Now, if you wanted to go vector, like if you wanted to print it really big for, let's say, um, at the front of the school so it's really easy to find. It's harder to fit it into a screen that way. I just go down here 
go to the snipping tool and um, go to new. And I just, I mean, I know this is cheating, but I just take a picture of it and then I save it and title it Q R code for COVID check in sample. Okay. And then I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it in my school folder. And then, I mean, that's literally it. So I will screen record on my phone what it looks like when you use it and pop that in here as well, just so you can see. Um, you can either download a QR reader or with most phones, you can just go to the take a photo and it pops up on the screen, open docs and you click on it. And then you have to have your domain account. Um, and then you enter it in and it lets you into the form and that's pretty much it. So that's it. And then paste these QR codes on whatever you're using. Done. Easy peasy. The nice thing. Oh, something I should show you. Um, from here, if you go to from the exit ticket, responses is where you're going to get your information. And this little icon of sending it to a spreadsheet is what you want. Now, if you've already created the spreadsheet in advance, you could choose select existing spreadsheet and pick the one that you already made. But I haven't made one for this. So I am instead of calling it exit ticket response, I'm going to call it COVID check in slash out sample oh. and create. And you'll notice that automatically with a, with a Google form, it's time stamped. So you know when they came and when they left there and then your pieces of the form, their name, whether they're checking in or out and you just get, it will just populate. It'll just keep populating. And so you can use the same form for all kinds of things. If you wanted to have one form per grade, you could create another um, check in, check out, do one for each grade. And then when you go to link it, when you go to this particular part where you click on that icon to go to responses and you say select existing sheet, if you keep picking the same sheet down here at the bottom, it will make like form responses one. So maybe that's grade nine, form responses two, grade 10, form responses three. So if you were doing this for printers, you could do the same thing where or whatever electronic things or whatever you're using in your classroom where you have them all coming out in one um, sheet. So that's the organizational bit. It's pretty simple, highly recommend. Been using it for a couple of years it, to have my own library um, for signing out camera equipment and electronics and all of that stuff. It works awesome.